Yeah. <laughs> uh, something smooth yet sinister. Coming through to diminish you. And this here's the finisher. <laughs> Check it out. Uh. It's your boy Trey coming back into a screen by means of the World Wide Web. And today, your boy, a little late with it. This actually came out uh, yesterday as of the record of this video. Anyway, you probably won't see it until two days after it's been out. But uh, what we're going to get into is a quick run of the third and final Shin Megami Tensei Dungeon. Alright. So let us not waste any time. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay. Um, so I do believe this is the last Vortex. Um, I believe the only thing left in this collaboration is a Grand Quest, if I'm not mistaken. We do have a Grand Quest mission that is going to be opening up here in... Shoot, by the time you see this video, I think it'll be the following day. Um, it's supposed to be up after the maintenance. And we are scheduled to have maintenance on Wednesday, uh, the 21st. They're going to be uh, taking the game down for some maintenance. We got quite a few things coming, including the Grand Quest with this collaboration. But we also have a new Frontier Gate mission, which I'm just ecstatic about. Because it'll probably be another pain in the butt to complete. But, um... We'll have another one of those, and it's also going to be a guild event, so uh, you are going to want to compete in it. Um, so, everybody get ready for that. Um, and there was one, uh, uh, one or two more things coming into maintenance. I can't really recall off the top of my head, unfortunately. But, um, we got some good stuff coming, alright? Another guild event, so... Hoping everybody's on the A game and uh, everybody do your best in order to achieve the highest score in them gills, boy. It's quite a few gills maxed out. Uh, mine isn't too far from being maxed out. Just had a few members being a little bit lackadaisical, so we're trying to get that straightened out and uh, get some people up in there that's gonna do some work. So uh, other than that, uh, I think that's pretty much it as far as what we got to look forward to. Alright, um, gonna be coming at you guys. I believe I got another Rare Summit video I want to bring to you folks. Shout out to uh, Gumi for bringing Juno Seto back into the gate. That was a wonderful experience, a well needed experience, man, because she was she was the one and only unit that I was just kind of cringing on not pulling. I mean, granted, it wasn't my fault. Like I said in the Summit video, I did a ton of pulls to try to get that girl. And RNG was just like, F your couch. <laughs> he was just like, you ain't getting no Juno Seto. It ain't popping for you, player. So, uh, yeah. After so many pulls, it don't matter what the unit is. I got to shut down the studio. Unless I can get some Cambodian. <laughs> uh, let me start quoting all that. I got kids watching this, man. But, uh, I think that's about the gist of it. So another rest summit. We got, I think, a little more content coming out. I don't know. Um, I also wanted to mention, in case you guys did not know, um, there was there was a new RC5 raid mission that was added. Um, it's pretty easy. It just kind of throws a lot of the materials that most will be farming for for the better spheres to, to craft an Imperial Capital Randall. They kind of just threw them all in one mission. I think that mission has like four bosses. Three of which you kind of usually want to farm in order for the good stuff. Uh, the last one, not so much. But um, they also got the RC6 missions too. I'm not sure whether or not they're permanent. But they've combined uh, RC6 bosses into one mission now. I'm not sure whether or not the drop rate is higher. I want to say it is. Usually when they do that, it is. But I am not certain. I have not done the research or anything like that to know for certain. So... Um, but they have come out with those RC6 missions and threw the bosses into uh, a single mission, more than one RC6 boss. So um, go tackle that if you need some RC6 mats. I personally don't really need that much. And I think that's about it. So this is the uh, last of the uh, uh, Shin Megami Tensei Vortex Dungeon bosses. This one's name is Krishna. Alright, so uh, Krishna. Nothing really to worry about, honestly. Auto battle the heck out of it. Usually get it done in about two, three turns. Because this isn't an OTK squad, so 
Yeah, I used about two or three times. Probably, probably two. But um, also keep in mind, you definitely want to do the highest level, but you definitely want to do the middle level as well. Free to play players to get that gem. And uh, this guy is able to be captured. Um, I have already captured him once, but I believe it was a breaker type. We got to toss a status ailment, so I'm, let me wipe them out real quick. But uh, I got one in the breaker type. I don't really think I care to farm this guy for animal, honestly. I really don't think I do. So uh, I might just keep that breaker type. I'll just be like the heck with it. At least I got him. He's a part of the collection now. Check it off the unit guide. Um, and be done with it. Bada boom, bada bing, baby. So uh, let's see if we cap one live on camera. I think the past two I have, so let's see if we're going to go three for three. Probably won't since I opened my freaking mouth now. Ha! I told you. It seems like every time I open my mouth when I'm freaking recording on this game, whatever I want to happen, it doesn't happen. Alright? That's why, I don't know if you guys notice, but even when I do summon videos, I try not to say the name of the unit that I want. Because I feel like I kind of just put myself in a really bad position. When I say the unit's name, and he don't come out. <laughs> it happens way too often if you take a look back. Like, if I say the unit name, it's like, oh, snap. I ain't pulling him. No matter if I do 20 pulls right now, I ain't getting him. So, uh, yeah, baby. So, Divine Power is level 6. Definitely make sure you go down to the middle level as well. Free to play players. Grab that gem. Capture this guy for your unit collection because only new players are going to benefit from him as a new unit. Um, I'm also thinking I'm going to do a... Uh, Brief review on the three units we got from the uh, Shimigami Tensei Vortex Dungeon. I'm thinking about doing a brief review about them. So also stay tuned for that, guys, all right? But uh, other than that, that's pretty much going to wrap this one up. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more Brave Frontier content. And if you wish to join the Facebook group, link down below in the description. Otherwise, as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the channel, checking out the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.